All right, I'm underneath the truck. I'm gonna take out the plug that is gonna let the antifreeze go flying out all over me. So I think there's a better place for me than underneath the T-Ruck. Some of the bolts for the oil pan were stripped, the threads, so I had to use a smaller SAE screw that just went through the stripped threads and a nut on top of the transmission pan. And it should be good. One day I'll heat recoil it. Probably will never do it. But I'm on my creeper, this creeper doesn't roll well on this driveway because this is the first coat with the big stones. And unfortunately, the big stones got plopped right where I have to roll my creeper, the biggest of the stones, just like here at the bottom of the stairs. Monster boulders right at the bottom of the stairs. Shame, huh? Boulders. Oops, someone spit out some. Taffy. Nice one. Huh? Put it right there. Squirrel can get it. Choke on it. the block sealer. Now I'm going to pull off the lower radiator hose. There she blows. to the lake. Clog up. Oh, there goes a cat. Can't see it because the camera's adjusting. Take off the lower hose, drain the radiator, and we'll be done. Let it dry for 12 hours. K&W permanent head gasket and block repair with nanotechnology. I called up CRC. This is their best product. They make a lot of chemicals. So I'm not going to read you the whole thing. Drain cooling system. Can't use it with any antifreeze in the cooling system. And you have to remove the thermostat, so I just took off the two bolts on my double thermostat conversion, which apparently isn't as good as a single thermostat. So crack that off. And things are in the way. You gotta remove the thermostats, then you have to mix one quart of this, a liter of this, and three quarts of water. Stir it around, add it to the cooling system. I have my hose ready. Let it run for 20 minutes at idle, no revving, no driving. Drain it, flush it, fill with antifreeze after you let it dry for 12 hours. Stop engine, allow to cool, remove radiator cap and open drain. Reinstall any removed spark plugs. Completely drain cooling system of KW block seal, but do not flush. With the radiator cap and drains open, allow the empty cooling system, system to dry for 12 hours. Flush cooling system with water till it runs clear and install thermostat. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to show it to you in a play-by-play 12-hour -play video because I make too many videos and they're too long. Let's see how it works. When it's ready to crank up, we'll see how my reverse pin extender works. And you can get it. Just Google reverse servo pin extender and there they are all the transmissions you could ever dream about so off to work no front wheel bearing it would be nice but we'll see if the machine shops open anti-theft wheel lugs 